Welcome to this tutorial on Mastering the Eclipse Memory Analyzer, or MAT. In this video, we're going to explore what MAT is, why it's essential for Java developers, and how we can use it to diagnose memory leaks and optimize our applications. First, let's talk about what Eclipse MAT is. MAT is a powerful Java heap analyzer that helps you analyze memory consumption in Java applications. It provides insights into memory usage, detects memory leaks, and offers tools to examine Java heap dumps, making it an essential tool for performance tuning. Before getting hands-on, you need to have Eclipse IDE installed along with MAT, which you can get as a plugin. You can download it from the official Eclipse MAT website and follow the installation instructions. Once you have MAT installed, the next step is to generate a heap dump from your Java application. A heap dump is a snapshot of memory that provides a detailed view of all objects in the heap and their references. In this command, replace PID with the process ID of your running Java application. You can find the PID using tools like jconsole or by using the PS command on Unix-based systems. The generated heapdump.prof file will be utilized in MAT for analysis. Now, let's dive into MAT. Launch Eclipse and navigate to File-Open File. Select your heapdump.prof file. After loading, you will be taken to the Overview page, which provides a summary of the heap dump. On the Overview page, you'll see various sections such as Memory Overview, Dominators, Classes, and Top Consumers. The Memory Overview gives you a high-level idea of memory usage, including the number of objects, total memory usage, etc. Let's explore the Dominator tree within MAT. This feature is crucial for identifying memory leaks. The Dominator tree allows you to see which objects are holding references to others. To access it, go to the left panel, select Dominator tree. Here, you will see a tree structure representing object references. The root node shows all objects that are preventing garbage collection. If an object is at the top and holds a large number of live objects, it may indicate a memory leak scenario. Let's look for possible memory leaks in our application. Identify nodes that contain a significant number of retained bytes and investigate by right-clicking and selecting List Objects. This will show all the instances of the class and their corresponding references. For instance, if you spot a large number of instances of a specific class, you may want to track down where they are being held. Let's analyze the references connected to these instances and see if they could be causing a leak. The Leak Suspects Report is another feature that MAT provides. It gives a comprehensive view of potential leaks with a detailed analysis. To access it, from the menu, go to Reports-Leak Suspects Report. This report will list the suspects with memory retained, count, and other details that may help you pinpoint the root cause of the leak. Review this report carefully, it can be a goldmine of information for optimizing your code. Now, let's take a look at the histogram feature. The histogram allows you to visualize the density of object instances for a particular class. Click on Histogram in the left panel. You will see a list of class names, along with the number of instances and total memory consumption. With the histogram, you can sort by retain size and count to quickly find the highest memory consumers. Identifying these classes can guide you toward where optimizations are most critical. Furthermore, MATI allows you to filter classes based on specific criteria. You can search classes by name, which is especially useful for identifying particular objects that might be causing issues. In addition to analyzing your heap dump, it's a best practice to analyze the application logs. This can provide context for memory consumption spikes. Keeping a close eye on application behavior during specific operations might reveal deeper insights. Now let's move on to another feature, Path to GC Roots. This is crucial for diagnosing why certain objects are not being garbage collected. Right-click on an object node in the Dominator tree and select Path to GC Roots. This will show you the chain of references that retain the object in memory. If you see an unexpected reference path that prevents garbage collection, it may indicate a programming error or improper resource management in your code. You can also analyze the field values of specific instances. By double-clicking an object in the Dominator tree, or histogram, you can see the detailed fields, including their values, which can give insight into what state the object is in. If you identify a potential issue in heap dump leading to high memory consumption, 
Consider potential optimization strategies, such as revising your data model, adjusting cache sizes, or using weak references. Now let's take a moment to recap what we've learned about Métis so far. We've explored generating heap dumps, analyzing memory usage, identifying potential leaks, and utilizing reports like leak suspects. Matt has proven to be an invaluable tool in our Java development toolkit. To apply what you've learned, I encourage you to analyze one of your own projects with MAT. Perform a heap dump during a memory intensive operation and utilize the tool to uncover potential leaks and optimization opportunities. Before we wrap up, let's address some common questions about MAT. Some users may wonder how MAT compares to other profiling tools. Each tool has its unique features, but MAT excels at analyzing heap dumps and offers unmatched visualizations for memory analysis. Others may ask whether MAT can be used for non-Java applications. Unfortunately, MAT is specifically designed for Java applications and cannot directly analyze heap dumps from applications written in other languages. We also encourage you to explore Matt's community forum for additional resources, shared insights, and tips from fellow developers. Engage with the community for enriching experiences and collective learning. As we conclude this tutorial, remember that efficient memory management is key to building performant applications. Regularly monitor memory consumption and apply optimizations where necessary to ensure a robust application. Thank you for watching this detailed tutorial on the Eclipse Memory Analyzer. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth programming tutorials. Happy coding!